The message is the same one delivered by the former Spanish Foreign Minister, Arancha González Laya, here at the same location. The only thing that's changed is the timing. We're closer to a treaty and there's a new Spanish Foreign Minister in charge. Ahead of meeting in the Campo Mayors, the Secretary of State for the EU said the central government had wanted this visit to be a priority. The priority, he said, had not only continued, but had been intensified. A commitment perhaps needed in the region in the wake of an untested Spanish foreign minister. Juan González Varva, part of the negotiating party for the New Year's Eve agreement, expects negotiations to be concluded by the end of the year. Getting this far by this stage, he added, was already an achievement. When asked by GBC whether there could be any nasty surprises between agreement and treaty that could hinder a result, he said he did not envisage any and explained that this is the EU's opening position, expressing the hope that the end result would be as close to the agreement as possible. Aparte, sabe cuál es su propio mandato, cuáles son, como en toda negociación, cuál es al final lo que se llama la zona de aterrizaje, aquella donde las posiciones de uno y otro puedan converger, que aquí al final tienen que ganar todos, y eso es lo importante, y todos tienen también que ceder algo. ¿No? Es un acuerdo en que se pueda mantener y conseguir el 100% de la posición de práctica, como en toda negociación, y no les revelo nada. There's an irony in the fact that Gibraltar could be pleased to have Spain in the EU Council, as it's expected to push for the agreement it too negotiated over the new year. So what happens now? Next week, the EU Commission is expected to produce a draft mandate for the negotiations to begin. This needs to be approved by member states in the Council, and once approved, negotiations will start with the UK, together with Gibraltar.